It was really awesome to see Hauser back in action and kind of see his personality change. He's definitely become more jaded, but at the same time, after losing his own squad and now his new squad with Rex, can you really blame him? But honestly, I just really want to see Hauser live, even if it's nearly impossible at this point. If I could only save two clone troopers from this series, it would probably be Echo and Hauser. I guess I'm just happy that Hauser's made it this far in these three seasons, and Hauser's also been able to fight for something that he actually kind of chose to fight for. I think my biggest frustration with Rebels being made before this is not that it was actually created before it, but more so they had no idea that they were going to make the Bad Batch series at the point of Rebels. Even during the Rebel series, they had no clue they were going to go back and make the Clone War Season 7. So it just sucks because I think it does leave some characters like Hauser, Echo, the Bad Batch squad, and all the new clones that we saw kind of expendable. But who knows, maybe the ending of the Bad Batch series won't be super depressing and there will be like a way that Hauser and some clones from Tantus are able to just chill and live a peaceful life on Pabu. I'm definitely interested as to how Hauser was able to just kind of think for himself more than other clones. Maybe it was his lack of Jedi general, but if you think about it, Hauser really was one of the earliest and most OG clones next to Rex that kind of went against the Empire and started not only the clone network group, but also just like the seeds of the rebellion. Captain Hauser definitely has to be one of my favorite clones. Be sure to let us know in the comments if you think there's any chance of Hauser surviving this series.